So the next participant is my favorite you, favorite topic, automating audit using AI. Friend, Mr. Prabhu Agarwala, you know, today, Charada content, the only problem was resource. The resource is not available to do any kind of audits. And there is an increasing cost in our organizations day by day. So automating audits can solve all the problems. Over to Prabhu Agarwala. and uh, we are not able to see your screen as well the technical team please help us sir nitro fluctuates still prabhav you should check your audio again you are speaking i, I could not able to hear I request the uh, is it is it is it audible now yeah yeah please you're audible go ahead yeah yeah okay so my screen is visible i believe yes affirmative yeah yeah okay uh so a very very good evening to one and all present here um so once when i was going through the website of this institute i came across this material uh which basically had non-compliances which was observed by the ca firms during the audit and when i was reading it i thought that you know, if I somehow could use AI tools to solve this issue, I would be actually solving a large scale problem, right? So in my previous round, uh, I had uh, to, so used the AI tools to automate the audit documentation process, which was one of the major non-compliances observed here. And today I will be using the AI tools to go a step ahead and uh, uh, use AI uh, to plan in the planning stage and as well as the performing stage. So yes, uh, I believe that now we can use the GPTs as our new article assistant. Uh, so here, uh, just a second. Um, yeah, uh, here you can see I have a balance sheet, a PL account. Uh, I'll just show you here. Uh, we have a balance sheet and a PL account uh, in this. So this is the balance sheet. This is the PNL account. Uh, and I have a Python code here, right? So when I run this Python code, you can see, uh, you know, the Python code will run and we'll have... Uh, word file appearing here so you can see that this is a word file which has magically come here and when we open this word file you can see that balance sheet items it has done item by item it has done a risk assessment and it has uh, quantified that whether the risk is a low risk high risk item medium risk item so that basically it has done a risk assessment based on the parameters which i have defined uh, and similarly for the pl item and uh, it has done a risk assessment on the basis of parameters which i have defined and not only this on the basis of this assessment it has suggested me the audit procedure also right so if it is a low risk item it has given me a certain set of audit procedures if it is a high risk item the audit procedures are more detailed one right so it has not only given this uh, risk assessment but it has also uh, given me the audit procedures uh now say for example i'll just give you an example uh here uh, in share capital, I had told that if the variation is let's say zero percent, which is in more um, uh, uh, you know most of the cases, so this will be a low risk item. And one of the audit procedures, simple audit procedure, would be you could simply check with the previous year's financial statement. Uh, you can of course modify the audit procedures as per your requirement. Right. And if there is a positive variation, then you may have to perform additional audit procedures like verifying the PAS3 returns, uh, you know, money is received or not, whether the proper disclosures have been made in the balance sheet. Right. So uh, as the risk changes, the audit procedures will also change. Now, the question is, how did I develop this code? Right. So for this, I have written a prompt. Right, that please pick up the balance sheet and a PL file from this location. And then you set a parameters of the variation as per your professional judgments. And then you can suggest that if the variation is, you know, less than this, 
give this set of audit procedures. If it is more than a certain percentage, give another set of audit procedures. So I have had a detailed prompt uh, giving defining all the parameters clearly. And when I give this prompt to chat GPT, you can see I have a I have this Python code generated here by the chat GPT. So I do simply copy this code. And in the previous uh, round also, I told that we'll use idle because it is as simple as the notepad. So here you can simply go to a new file. You can just paste the code save the code and then run the code right uh, of course you will not get your desired output in one go there will be some issues uh, there might be the output might not be as you desire so whatever is the your issue you are facing you can just simply go back to the chat gpt and again you can mention that look i expected an x output you are giving me a y output so please modify your code accordingly so it will do the edit in this code uh, th there can be some technical issues also which is visible here in this screen you can simply take a screenshot post to chat gpt it will again uh, you know edit the code as per the uh, technical issues that you are facing right so once this is done, uh, you have the code ready. Of course, it might take two, three, four iterations. And once you have this code ready, you can simply go on changing the balance sheet and PN. And every time you run the code, you will have a new word file giving you a detailed risk assessment process along with the set of audit procedures that you may need to perform as per your predefined parameters, right? So this was one stage where, uh, you know, uh, automating uh, we could automate the planning part uh, after planning uh, you know these ai tools can also help us performing the audit also so you know we, as chartered accountants we are mostly concerned with uh, whether the financials uh, meet the applicable frf or not you know uh, comply with the applicable fr or, uh, or not uh, basically this covers it complies with whether companies act or not schedule 3 as indias whether they are complying with this or not so these GPT tools can help us check that also. So here we have one uh, file. This is significant accounting policies. So here I have a significant accounting policies and I now want to check whether this is as per the accounting standards or not. So here I have made a deliberate mistake. You can see in the inventories part, uh, you know, uh, as per the accounting standards, you can use either the FIFO method or the weighted average method as per AS2. A LIFO method is not allowed, right? So this is a violation of AS2. So when I upload it, let's see whether it can check whether it, uh, it complies with the uh, applicable FRF or not. So here I'm using the FRRB GPT and I've just posted the accounting policies doc and I've asked it to uh, check whether uh, whether it is as per applicable FRF or not. So here you can see it is checking that okay a, a certain policies AS10 is complied, AS28 is complied, leases it is giving me uh, certain minor corrections are needed and you can see here inventories you can see that it uses the LIFO method correction is needed it prohibits LIFO, FIFO or weighted averages required. So basically this two Tool is now helping me to check whether the financials are as per applicable FRF or not. Going forward, uh, in the audit stage, we have you know several documents and we need to compare multiple documents, a lot of data sheets. So if we have, let's say I've taken one example that I have a balance sheet for the current year. Just a second, so just a second. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, so I have this current year uh, balance sheet and uh, this is the previous year balance sheet. So here you can have this comparatives here uh, as compared. So now I have asked the GPT to compare the both the financials and tell me if there is any discrepancy, whether it is observing any discrepancy or not. So here you can see that uh, in inventories, I've deliberately made a mistake. This is 748 figure here. Well, in the last year, the figure is 784. So basically the four and eight are being interchanged. So now when I upload this financials here in the GPT and I asked it to compare, the remaining figures are the same. So you can see for share capital reserves, current liabilities, equities, everything is same. Only difference you can see in inventories part, it is showing me that 784 and 748 are interchanged. There is a 36 difference and due to which, you know, total assets are also differing by 36, right? So this can help you compare multiple documents, large number of of data sets also and one more part which we feel uh, you know when we are doing audits right uh, uh, say for example i am doing an internal audit wherein i have to you know uh, look into these uh, chalans and i have to fill let's say clause 20 of the 3cd form right so uh, i can ask gpt to do that for me so what i have done is i have just uploaded this uh, uh, Chalan. This is basically a dummy Chalan. Uh, so I have uploaded the 12 Chalans and I have asked it to create a data in the form that first column will be a serial number. Then it will give me the period of Chalan, what date the Chalan was paid and amount that is paid. Right. So you can see it is analyzed the Chalan. Martin, and it last two minutes. Sure, sir. 
and it has given me the entire data in a structured form. Now I can simply download this and whatever software I'm using, X software, Y software, I can simply X, you know, import this data uh, from the Excel file uh, directly into the clause 20 part, right? And if you can compare also, you can see, I'll just randomly compare one or two parts. Uh, so you can see this June 23, Chalan, 18 July, 6295. June 23, 18 July, 6295. You can see randomly, I'll do one more. Uh, August 23, Chalan, 13 September, 8271. August 23, Chalan, 13 September, 8271. So I have checked it. The the it it perfectly you know creates this data for me, which I can you know uh, go ahead and use to do this part, right? So yes, uh, so this was my uh, use case. Uh, I would like to conclude here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if any question, I can take Prakash. questions. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Prabhav. And you know, I think you have shown us two three use cases where the audit can be automated using this. Uh, uh, chat GPT and other generative AIs as well as you also touched upon Python. So to conclude here, you know, I can see at least half a dozen of participants uh, here are using Python as a tool to automate their audits or do anything with uh, AI. So, and uh, it is a, it is a, overall, it is a wonderful uh, presentation by, by the various participants. I think various aspects of audits, not only audits, stock market and other things being spoke upon. And it was indeed a, you know, eye opening session for other participants as well. And I suggest the participants to vote for the panelists here and maybe next five minutes, the, the poll will be open and over to the organizing committee.